uh, to our offices two days ago. And um, as I told you before, I'm from the Institute of Network Cultures and we organized, uh, co-organized, I really should say, um, first of all, a conference in, uh, in Brussels in uh, the fall of last year and at Argos, a media art institute there. And then one in uh, a conference in Amsterdam in January. And um, the funny thing was the reason we started uh, getting involved in the whole topic was that, uh, of course, we are also based at a school, a school of interactive media at the University of Applied Sciences in Amsterdam. And Geert Lovink, my colleague who founded the institute, also works at the University of Amsterdam uh, in the new media department. And because all the students use YouTube and wanted to study it, they, um, I guess about three years ago, when it was <laughs> just there, uh, they came up to us and said, okay, do you have nice books about YouTube and where's the theory? And we were like, wow, uh, you're a bit early, um, but let's see what we can do. Is there such a thing possible as writing this theory while it is actually happening. Yeah, later. <laughs> so, um, we got in touch with uh, some people, including Vera Tolman, who will show uh, screening or present the screenings later. She was one of the researchers for uh, the Video Vortex events and mainly the Amsterdam one, and did a great job. And um, we started talking about how to study this phenomenon and how to uh, yeah, see what the alternatives actually are to uh, a huge platform that has all these disclaimers you have to sort of agree with before you can get started and get uploading. And we noticed that especially a lot of artists and filmmakers and curators were sort of struggling with this whole thing, like if you publish it online, will anybody want to pay for it or how can I pay my rent if everyone is just sharing my stuff as <laughs> well? You know, and, and I don't, or maybe some people don't agree or don't want to do YouTube, then what's their stuff doing there? So, um, that's actually how it started. Students asking for books, which is beautiful. It doesn't happen very often, but sometimes when it does, it's something you have to uh, embrace, what we thought. Um, so, then we started in um, Brussels with a small one-day uh, event with wonderful uh, speakers. And did a, um, two exhibitions in Amsterdam and a two-day event and some workshops. So that was kind of a massive uh, thing. And um, after those two events, we thought it would be time to invite everybody who was there and also people who couldn't make it to um, yeah, send us an article, basically. That's simple. And uh, a lot of people did, so we could select, which was nice. And... Uh, here it is, Video Vortex Reader. It's also online. We um, like to publish everything as a PDF as well. So uh, it's there. You can just download it for free. And you can also order a copy. I know that for the people who are here at Bilkent University that there will be a box arriving any day. I was hoping it would be here, of course. I do have some. But I was thinking of giving it to the speakers, as lame as that may <laughs> sound. I mean, it's for everybody, of course, but I'll, I thought it would be a nice present for the speakers, and I thought that I would start actually with the organizers. Of course, Andreas has already seen it, but he can look surprised. And uh, the rest I'll give to, I'll spread it around later. Um, the one thing, no, I wanted to show something that sort of captured the spirit, but I will leave the screenings to Vera today. And uh, yeah, I want to thank you again, Andreas, also for making this possible and having a place to sort of give the first, first reader to you. I think that's very appropriate. So thank you very much. Enjoy it. And don't keep the box to yourself. You'll have a lot of books and uh, enjoy it. So thank you very much. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, as, as you wish. And like this, I <laughs> Yeah, so I'm sorry I didn't bring 50, but I just couldn't carry it. <laughs> 